Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we're gonna talk about some summer gourmands. You know how much I love gourmand fragrances and sometimes, especially in the summer, you can't really wear them because they're just too sweet, they're just too much. These ones that I have in here, they're sweet, they're gourmands, they're like very realistic gourmands, but they're not too much. They're just perfect for the summer time, summer days, summer evenings, they're just amazing. And you guaranteed are gonna smell delicious, like you are gonna smell like a snack. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and now let's jump in. All right, I kinda classify them by notes. Um, so we, we're gonna have coconut. Coconut is a delicious note. Sometimes it can go very like sunscreen vibe, which I don't like. I generally don't like that. But when it's like a delicious, I know, like a true gourmand coconut, then I don't like it. I love it. The first one that we have in here is actually a body mist, and that is Coco Cabana from Sol de Janeiro. I think they changed the name for this one, but it's usually the same fragrance. This perfume literally smells like you know those raffaello like candies you know the the inside that coconut feeling it smells exactly like that it's absolutely delicious if you're looking for a fragrance that literally smells just like coconut i think it has some nuttiness as well i'm getting something nutty as well but it's Oh my god, it's so, so good. I definitely need a bigger bottle because it's a 30 ml and you can see it's almost gone. Um, obviously, it's a body mist, so it's not going to last the whole day. Um, but being a body mist is very inexpensive, so you can just literally put this on in your bag and respray it. But it's so, so, so delicious without being, even though it's very sweet, it's not scratchy. It's it's very well done, especially for a body mist. Um, Sol de Janeiro, Coco Cabana, I think the new name is... Shea Rosa 60 something, I cannot remember, uh, but yeah, this is delicious. Next one we have from Comptoir Sud Pacific Vani Coco. Literally, like the name suggests, this one smells like vanilla and coconut. This is what you're getting, it's very sweet, and I would say the vanilla is maybe stronger than the coconut. And the coconut gives me a little bit of that like sunscreen, like that type of fragrance, but just a little bit, not too much. So it's not a very realistic coconut, okay? Kind of smells like a coconut oil. Yes, it smells like a coconut oil. And then lots and lots and lots of vanilla. This is extremely sweet. But again, we're talking about gourmands. This in the summer evenings, not during the day, because it's going to be too much, but during the summer evenings, it's going to be absolutely delicious. Coco, uh, not Coco Bani, Bani Coco from Comptoir Sud Pacific. Next we have Omnia Profumi Madeira. I absolutely love and adore this perfume. It looks like I didn't use it, but it's just, it's very strong. It's like unbelievable strong. This perfume again, it has vanilla, it has coconut, I think it has caramel as well. This is like a caramel vanilla syrup with coconut. It's so good, like it's so good, but it's so, so strong. It, I'm not sure, it's all the parfum, but it generally feels like an extra de parfum. It's that sweet. A little bit goes a long way, okay? Like, you don't need to spray more than, I don't know, two, three sprays. That's enough. And that comes from me. Uh, that's just enough because this is sweet. This is powerful. This is like a caramel vanilla syrup with some coconut. Delicious. Madeira from Omnia Profumi. The next one that we have in here and the last coconut scent is going to be Leisure in Paradise from Simone Andreoli. This is not just coconut. This is pina colada. It's literally a super sweet, concentrated pina colada. This is what I'm getting. Extremely sweet again, but it still has something every. Like, it totally works in the summer, like during the summertime, especially summer evening. Don't put this one on summer days. 
if it's boiling hot outside because it's gonna be too much but summer evenings this smells delicious like i said a very concentrated pina colada this is what i'm getting with this fragrance leisure in paradise from simone andreoli next let's talk about lemon the first one that we have it's lemon tart from theodoros calotinis i'm literally obsessed with this perfume i talked about it a billion times like the name suggests this is a very very realistic gourmand it literally smells like a lemon tart um it's very sweet but that lemon being that realistic it still has something heavy and fresh but it's so good like baked goods and somehow it works somehow it works during the summertime um even though it's that realistic and that sweet it really really works like all year round but in the summer evenings this is amazing i'm telling you this is absolutely amazing uh, lemon tart from uh, theodoros calotinis the next one if that one is a bit too much and too sweet we have from Jusette african queen african queen um it's a fragrance obviously we have it on the website and i had to have a bottle so i kept a bottle for myself because i really like this thing this basically for me is w not white but like milk chocolate with lemon i know it has some almonds as well i'm not really getting the almonds but for me is this soft well i don't have fragrance i have no idea for me is this soft milk chocolate with zesty lemon and then the whole composition just is mixing together it's like a gourmand but it's a gourmand that is not too sweet it's not too in your face if that makes any sense it has a creaminess it definitely is like milk chocolate it, it's not a chocolate fragrance it's mainly a lemony fragrance but you can definitely smell that milk chocolate it doesn't feel like dusty or dark chocolate no it's, it's milk it has a creaminess to it uh, the chocolate i'm talking about i really like this one like if you're not if you're starting to like gourmands i'll check this one out we actually have samples as well on the website and so if you're not sure you can just sample it i really really like this one i'm not saying i like everything from like the fragrances that we got on the website because with some brands we just had to take the whole you know the whole um, collection but this is one of the fragrances from Jusette. Accidental Avanissa, my favorite. Like that one, I've been raving about that one for like, what, two years now? Um, two years ago, I never had an idea that I'm gonna release a fragrance with Navitus, that I'm gonna have my own online store. I, that was a dream. That was not even a dream. Like I would not even think about it. And I was raving about that fragrance, Accidental Avani. Um, But this one, this one is just like easy for me. Like it's an easy chocolate lemon don't think chocolate orange chocolate lemon fragrance it's a gourmand that is not too sweet and i feel like more people are gonna like it um african queen from Jusette, and i have another one that actually has some cacao not necessarily chocolate but it has cacao methexis from mano sierra Kinis. this one has cacao honey and then it has a very green fig. I would suggest you test it first because it's a very unique fragrance. That fig, it's green. But this one, during the summertime, it smells divine. It literally smells divine. Like, I got this one with me on holiday when I went to Spain. And I wore it during the evening and I was obsessed. Uh, so yeah, get yourself a sample with this. It smells so good, especially in the air. Uh, Meth Methexis from Manos Irakinis. What else do we have? Uh, pistachio. Something very realistic and sweet. Creme de pistache from 77 cents. This literally smells like pistachio and coconut. It's delicious. It's amazing. You need it. If you live in the UK, um, the girl that is selling it, she has the brand 77 cents. Um, she's on Etsy so go and check her out because this thing is absolutely delicious if that one is too sweet it's too gourmand it's just too much for you you can go with the keali young pistachio gelato 33 it definitely smells like pistachio but this one has some floral notes it has something else as well so it's not just pistachio it's not as gourmand it all it's also floral and light um i do really like it obviously i love gourmand so i do prefer creme de pistache but if that one you find it like, too sweet maybe um, yam pistachio is going to be better for you. Uh, 
What else do we have? Ah, 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 ah. let's talk about this one. Ambrosia Imperial from Navitos. This is so good. This is banana. This is banana with like a bit of saffron, a bit of uh, Davana as well. It's sweet. It's creamy. It's airy in the same time from that saffron. This fragrance, especially like the opening, it's absolutely delicious. That banana in the opening, it's so good. It's still a perfume, so it's not. it doesn't smell just like food. It's still a fragrance, but it's so good. They capture that banana scent so well. I'm obsessed, I'm in love. Uh, this summer gourmand, yes, it's gonna be amazing. Um, Ambrosia Imperial from Navizus. Talking about banana. Bon Talenti from Profumo di Firenze. This one is not just banana. Banana is the main note, especially in the first one they're gonna smell when you spray it. Uh, this one has banana, it has peach, it has apricot, I believe. But for me, it's the mix between all of those fruits and the coconut. It has some coconut. I think it has some caramel and some, some vanilla. For me, it's like a fruit milkshake. This is what I'm getting, okay? Where the banana, you add more banana, but then you add apricot, you add peach, you add, I don't know, some coconut bits, and then maybe put some milk in it. Obviously, it's milkshake, so you have to put some milk in it. Um, not really getting caramel, so I don't get like any caramel around it. For me, it's just like a very sweet, creamy, Yes, very sweet, creamy, um, fruity scent. The fruits are not sharp, they're not, um, doesn't have any citrusy, I believe. It's not thing citrusy, it's not, um, I don't know, Herba Pura type of scent. I love Herba Pura type of scent, okay? But it's not that type of scent profile. Everything is just very, very creamy and it has lots of coconut. This one maybe. I should have put it in with the coconut. It's kind of like half coconut, half all of those fruits that I've told you. Um, Bonta Lenti from Profumo di Firenze. Something that again smells like a milkshake to me. Gossip Night from Gritty. This is peach. Definitely you're getting the peach. Mango. And something else that is sweet and creamy and delicious. I'm getting, imagine you're making yourself a peach and mango milkshake. This is what I'm getting. Without being lactonic. It's creamy, but it's not lactonic. It's beautiful. It's delicious. I love it. Like these summer evenings again. It's absolutely delicious. And the last one that has this like milkshake chic vibe. Cruz del Sur 2 from Zershop. This is mango milkshake, but this is lactonic. With this perfume, you generally need to try it first because it's very lactonic and milk can go very, very, very wrong on some people. I personally love it. It smells amazing on me, okay? <laughs> I said it like I it smells amazing on me, but it does. It actually smells amazing on me. So what can I do? Uh, but yeah, this is Mango Milkshake. Try it. Please, please try it first because that milk note can go very, very wrong. But on me, it's just stunning. Uh, Cruiser Surtu from Zerjov. What else do we have? Ah, two more? Two more perfumes? Yes, two more perfumes I have in here. Another one that has a creaminess, but another note is the star of the show. Almaz from Kajal. We obviously have this brand on the website. I know that it's uh, quite popular and I know that lots of people wanted it here in the UK. I've never tested it. But I looked at the reviews. I looked on uh, YouTube and people were saying good things about this one. The notes I really liked. So I was like, I'm going to open a bottle. We didn't order that many, so it was a risk, you know, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to open a bottle. I paid for it, that old mine. I'm going to open a bottle. I don't care. I, I, want to, I want to smell it. I want to taste it. And I felt in love immediately. Besides the gorgeous bottle, this is raspberry. I believe it has some black currant as well. And again, I don't know the other notes, but for me, it smells like raspberry whipped cream. Yes raspberry whipped cream and then in the dry down you're getting some black currant as well somehow it's still appropriate for the summertime might have other fruity notes as well 
but I'm definitely getting that raspberry and it's creamy and it's delicious and I have literally I have fragrance everywhere but look at that mist as well oh, it's sweet like don't think it's like oh, a bit of raspberry no it's very creamy very sweet but it's good it's so good oh my god I'm, I'm obsessed I'm in love and the cap like I'm obsessed with the bottle as well anyway this is raspberry goodness absolutely love it but again it's very very creamy just to let you know um almas from kajal and the last one that we have in here another raspberry in love with everything from imaginary authors this fragrance opens up with the most delicious raspberry fruit punch okay it's not just raspberry the other fruits but i'm definitely getting the raspberry the most it's like fruit punch might have some lime lime is not lime is not listed here it has coconut palm sugar i have no idea what that is uh tropical punch citrus pulp makes sense okay citrus pulp uh stardust it doesn't have any stardust raspberry like that's the opening and then slowly in the dry down you are getting this rose that it's that type of like a bit green like a, a green rose it can be for me i'm gonna be honest with you the first time when i tested it i love the opening and then i could I, that green rose was a bit too much and i was like ah why just why but in the end after like five minutes they both of them they just mix together and the composition is just stunning this is not as gourmand again it still has a floor a flower in it it still has something else it's not just sweet 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 that rose that green rose makes it more perfumey okay more perfumey not as gourmand um but definitely the opening is super gourmand then you're going to like a green rose and then immediately the two of them mix together and like that mix is just amazing um uh, so yeah the last and i really like i really like the bottle like this is probably my favorite bottle from imaginary authors it's a very simple bottle but i really like it i like the skaters and the thingy anyway uh last scent they'll have it here is in love with everything from imaginary authors and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite uh, gourmand for the summertime do you like wearing gourmands during the summer or it's just too much am i the only one like let me know please in the comments down below i'm not talking about you no know, like a bit like just like sweet fragrances i'm talking about literally gourmands like all of these are 100 gourmands and they're just amazing in the summertime anyway that was it for today thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to do the big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye